So in this question, as you can see, we have to find out the orthographic projection for a unit cube for x0, y0 and z0 plane. So we have three plane where x is 0, y0 and z0. You can see this is the cube. We have points here, different coordinates. So for the first step for this is we will write down all the coordinates of the unit cube in the matrix notation. So you can see for this unit cube coordinates for A is 0, 0, 001, B is 110, one, C is 111, one, one, D is 0, 011. One, one. So we will write down all the coordinates of the unit cube in the matrix form. So we are using here homogeneous coordinate system. So we will write down all the coordinates one by one. For A it's 0, 0, 001, you can see here. For B 101, one. for C it's 111, one, one. D 011. One, one. For E, it is 000, zero, zero and you can see here 000. Zero, zero, zero. For F, it is 100 zero, zero, and so on. Next step, we have to find out orthographic projection for X is equal to 0, Y is equal to 0 and Z equal to 0. We have three plane. So as you know, we did orthographic projection and in orthographic projection we have matrix for projection when x equal to 0 this one when y is equal to 0 this one this one and g is equal to 0 this one you can see in this matrix we have when x is equal to 0 this is 0 when y is equal to 0 here y coordinate is complete 0 so what we will do in order to find out orthographic projection for this unit cube at x is equal to 0 we will multiply unit cube matrix that we constructed with this matrix and after multiplication you will get another matrix that is this one so this is the orthographic pro projection that we performed when x is equal to 0 so same you will perform what you will do you will multiply here in order to find out orthographic projection for y at 0 and g at 0 you will multiply these two matrix with this unit cube matrix that is the orthographic projection we performed on x y and g so that's just the simple example we have to perform orthographic projection again i'm saying first step is write down all the coordinates in the matrix form and then multiply with the matrix for projection for y x and g so this is a simple example of orthographic projection. If you have any question, you can comment below. And thanks for watching this video.